Hello and welcome to episode 35 of Eidolon. Today we'll look at World 5. Right now all my characters are in the lab, but that's going to change. You'll see why. In fact, it's going to be useful because I have to leave for a few days for Christmas. So those characters will have something else to do than the lab. I made these two pieces, World 3 boss pieces. I finally had enough of uh, the green assaults. So let's go in World 5. As promised, we're just gonna look at the town and the first area. It's gonna be a simple video, but then it's going to give us a direction for the future of this series. Right away, something was odd. It was the same music as in World 4. That's because there's no music yet as of the release of World 5. Maybe by the time you watch this, they will add music. So this is the first quest from this buddy there talking about sailing. I'm gonna do a lot of clicking around, so I'll skip it all. I'm gonna go straight to the point. So I first click on this map. So we have a boat there and there's an island. And over time you can unlock more islands. This is my crew. I can have more captains, more boats. But I thought this is where I had to set up my uh, run. But it's not the case. And there's artifacts also that you can find. So uh, I was clicking around a lot. So I'm gonna skip that and um, I realized it was here, right there. But where's the captain? I was trying to find the captain. He's right there, he's walking, his little buddy walking. <laughs> and later on, it's not that long, we're talking 30 seconds, but I'm just skipping it, just to make it more fluid. Here we go, now I can uh, navigate, but I have to go directly where the arrow is. There you go, finally. So <laughs> I was a bit impatient because I wanted to be um, smooth but i can do jump cuts so it's easy so that's the first thing sailing will be very interesting and then the second thing is uh, the gaming thing the gaming thing i don't really understand it is the thing i understand the least but over time i'm sure i'll get it so i'm clicking on these um what are these sprouts and then uh, there's fertilizer i click on that i can upgrade how many points I get every time I collect a sprout, something like that. So I upgraded that and then there was nothing. And there's a certain goal that the quest giver gave me, I think it's level three. So I said, okay, I'm gonna have to wait. Okay, fine, we'll wait. But there's good news. There's something in my bags. I don't know it yet. I'll find out when I look at the shop. Okay, so we're gonna cut this part because I was trying to figure out. I was thinking, oh, maybe I have to close the game or something. And I will later for something else. When I went in the shop, then I saw what's in my bags. These two things. So this is a gaming fertilizer. That's gonna help me finish the quest. I just wanted to do the first quest, okay? And uh, also bottle win for the sailing. Nice, so we're gonna use that and see uh, what happens. Okay, I used it, sorry, I didn't see myself clicking. So I used it. So the sailing, I got two treasures there. So let's open them. Oh, it says seven. What, why did it say 12? I don't know. Hmm. I'll figure it out later. This is all new and, you know, this is just an overview over time. We'll understand it better. So I decided to upgrade the loot that the boat gives. And I can get, as I said, more captains, more bows with uh, those treasures. That's all I know for now. And uh, I find it, I find it interesting. It's just a gaming thing that I find a bit odd. And there's a third thing, of course, that we're going to look at. So here I click and I got a bunch of points, 41 points, and I level up to three, my gaming. So I'll buy some upgrades. Sprouts come back faster with this. Here I can hold more sprouts and then we'll increase the base value of sprouts again. So that's what we had for this gaming thing. We'll see what it's about later. I'm curious about it. It's just a bit odd. I don't know. And now divinity. Divinity is really interesting. At first I understood nothing and I even had to go on Discord to really uh, understand what to do. So they tell me what my goal is, is to get one divinity. Reality is to get one God. So this is where you get them. Olive branch and I don't know how to pronounce this. Tith. 
<laughs> tithe, okay? It gives you a chance to get a god or deity. That's the goal for the quest. But to do that, it's one divinity and one XP per hour. Okay, so what I did, that's after the end of the video, I came back and I decided to put everybody in divinity. And now it's 10 per hour. And I'll leave it like that for several days. When we do Eidolon crossover with Idol Scaling, that's the next video. I sort of forgot about that uh, last episode when I was talking about the future. We'll look at the, the result of this and I will be able to complete that quest. So next thing we need to do now is go in the first area and fight some mobs. Oh, but first let's go in the shop so we have new uh, new tokens unfortunately i forgot to check how much better they are from the wolf War ones and i really hope that the odds of them succeeding don't go down too much here's a stamp for furnace so that's cool i'll buy that and then there is this. This is really attractive, I find, because there's 240,000 of them in stock instead of the normal barrels that you find in World 1. So I'm going to be using that. It's expensive though. 11 platinum per <laughs> is pretty expensive and that's better food as you would expect. So the shop is a little thin, but I expect it to maybe get buffed up a little bit uh, in the future. Because uh, everybody is in the laboratory. Oh, this is the map, by the way. That's how it looks like. All right. That's going to be fun to move forward in this. So everybody's in the laboratory. So I can put all my shrines in the town and will have an effect anywhere I go. If you're observant, when I showed the divinity earlier with all my characters in the divinity, that's after, and there was no, uh, no trophies here, uh, trophies, no shrines here. The shrines were all in the first area where we're going to go in a moment. I was about to do more clicking around here. So I'm going to skip that part and let's go in the first area. And there's going to be a quest there. Oh, in fact, I even left. Oh yeah, I left because yeah, I left an hour. Check this out. I wanted one point. I thought that's what I needed to do. Here's one divinity point, and then um, the quest is not done, okay. And Olive Branch, I have 1% chance of getting a god, but now I have 5% chance. So it seems that it goes up over time. So I can't wait to come back. For, well, I'm looking forward to the trip. It's Christmas, but uh, in a way, I can't wait to come back from the trip to see the results of that, and we'll get our first god for, uh, I don't know if it's for like each character you can choose your own deity separately or if it's one for everybody at once i don't know i'll figure it out when i come back and this is the first task i have to do the first quest i thought it would be to kill a few mobs but uh, it's more than a few <laughs> so let's go kill them uh, am i able to do it the answer is yes that's not a problem so i'm going to try to find that quest in this mess uh, it's right there though I went up too high. There's a lot of quests. That's one of the things I'm going to want to do. I'm going to make a video called um, along the lines of, look, 30,000 kills that I need to do. A to-do list. Okay, that's a video I'm going to make. I'm going to tell you what Ganon told me uh, I should be doing. And I'll tell you what I want to do on top of that. 3.5 million damage while I'm fighting. 21.5 thousand accuracy and 1600 defense uh, so we're getting a little bit better i'll be able to get the helmet also from world 3 boss i have to kill him with all eight characters and i'm able to do it it's just a question of sitting down and doing it so in the near future i'll be able to do that now there's something really really cool that made me really happy enemy hp in tower defense has been lowered except goblins which i don't care about it's really because of the frigid souls in the frozen totem it's a nightmare it's very difficult to get 
So there's new uh, pet battles, new cooking meals, okay, because we're gonna be looking at that too. There's new bubbles and alchemy. These are the skills. So Anvil Fall. I don't even have Anvil Four because of Frigid Souls. So I'll be able to do uh, some worshiping to try to get Frigid Soul, which is cool. Gem Shop. So let's see what I want to buy. So I'm going to buy the uh, this package. 4,300 gems. Molten Cloak plus 30% drop rate. Probably good for my future maestro. I know. I don't have a maestro yet. It will be part of my to-do list. And it will be relatively soon in terms of episodes. Okay, I'll make a dedicated episode to me getting the maestro. And the Molten Cloak will belong to him. Now, what else do I want to buy? So I was exploring the shop. There's nothing here that I'm attracted to for now. But in bonuses, I think it's in bonuses, there'll be stuff. I don't know yet though. So let's take a look. So Miracle Chess, so it has to do with sailing. I don't know how attractive this is. You can let me know in the comments if you like. Bottle win, we already have some in our um, inventory. So I don't know if we would buy that. That I don't know either, so I would have to play sailing to really understand it. I'm not gonna buy anything until I understand. But this though, it increases divinity points and XP by 25% for all my players. This is automatic. In fact, I would buy it right now. In fact, I might even buy it before I leave. Okay, I'm really attracted to that. This has to do with the gaming. Is that good? I don't know. Again, I would have to play the gaming to understand. Um... This I have some again in my uh, inventory. And the maximum number of sprout that my garden can hold up. That could be attractive too, because if I leave the game closed, then I have more uh, sprouts when I come back. So I could be attracted to this also. But it's hard to say because I just entered World 5, uh, you know, uh, today. So we'll see. The guild, uh, as usual, everybody is welcome. 139 out of 142. I'm going to have to do a little bit of a cleanup, will I not? So as usual, uh, it's uh, so long as you make a little bit of GP, you get to stay forever. Okay. And we'll level 28 and 3 quarters. I advertise it once in a while. I will as soon as this video is released also. The cards, yes. So the cards, um, well, I have none, okay? So I have a bunch of new cards, but I was interested in sets. Is there something new in sets? And there is. There should be, because there's one for each category. So we'll look at the sets in a second. I need to work on those cards, by the way. And I will. To-do list. <laughs> so, okay, sets. More AFK gain fight. AFK gain rate. So, this is really attractive. But I need 14 of those wall 5 cards. So, uh, it will take some time before I'm able to do this. One thing at a time to keep my sanity. So, we're about done here. As I said, next episode, I sort of forgot, but it will be the Idle on, Idle Skinning crossover event. Then, yeah, 4,900 kills uh, per hour. And then after that, you can expect some sort of a to-do list. But every time I'll make a video like this, you're going to see some progress in World 5 or anything of interest, if I have new gear or anything. We're going to continue. This is once again a Let's Play or Gameplay or Playthrough series. Uh, there is no guides or anything. I don't think I have the expertise to make guides, but uh, there is an audience for this. The series will continue unless this collapse completely. But it will reach 10,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I'll talk about that in the Merry Christmas video that will be auto release the 25th of December. So you can expect a new Idolon video relatively soon after I come back. In the meanwhile, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and review comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.